This is what I'm working on right now. It's it's a double portrait of the two white stripes, Mac on the left and Jack White on the on the right. And you can you can tell from from my approach here that my main concern is the likeness of the individuals portrayed. Whereas on the left, Mac White, it just took me a few brush strokes, and uh, you know I was able to kind of like characterize her, her face but with, with Jack White on the right that was a much more difficult process and I've been struggling and, and only you know only at, at this point there's a somewhat of a semblance of of Jack White and so it, it's still uh, you know I'm, I'm going to focus you know a lot more on the right hand side uh, of this double portrait and on the left hand side which I suspect will will come fairly easy. So to the left I, I did a little bit of, of Mac White and and that's gone smoothly. That's how it's supposed to go. You know, you set it up and it's and it becomes this uh, this kind of automatic flow of paints and it's you know and it's a, a good portrait from the get go. So that's how it goes, like two and one, like the easy one that comes naturally and the struggle that takes like forever to uh, adjust, adjust, adjust. It's the way these, these things go. So, so some of these paintings, let me go back to this wall of paintings. So some of these paintings are, uh, are, are uh, you know, quick, you know, like four hours. Other paintings take much longer. Eight hours, ten hours. Still a little work to be done, but it's uh, it's it's very comfortable now. I I really have a studio. I I always had a studio, but I never had electricity in it. So just uh, about a month ago, for the first time, I got electricity. So now I have air conditioning, and it's not so damp, and it's comfortable, and, and I have running water too. And so it's it's really good so I can actually spend time and I did that this week and I've kind of forgotten but gosh it's it feels like nice to be you know to be an artist to, to like be in your studio for long stretches of time and and be comfortable at the same time so that is a you know that is a big big bonus from this whole uh, rehab of, of this of this place. Here we have again sitting in front of uh, the white tracks painting. I did let it dry over my Sunday morning now. And um, it's much better than it was yesterday. I'm going to do one major intervention. I'm going to see how that works out. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to change the background of Jack White. I spent so much time on Jack White, so I got some cobalt blue, the blues of the blue, and I'm gonna just see, it just got into me that I should make this background, and I'm gonna do a quarter, white quarter, background dark blue, so we'll see what that, what that's going to look like. change.
have created quite a bit of separation between the two now. They came from the same photograph and they were all built up out of the same colors. Not so much anymore. Maybe. Maybe. Still working on it. As you can see, I decided I needed the warm colors in the background again, except for the blue. It's it's near finished now. So yeah. probably just a bit more, bit more touch-ups here and there, and then I'll hang it on the wall. And yeah, perhaps it gets another treatment in the near future. It's been about a, a little over a week since uh, this space, the Top 100 Archive and Studio, finally opened to the public. And it was opened to the public with this exhibition that you see here. And it is the Top 100 2020, nicknamed the COVID series. The series has been uh, finished for, for a while. But they were started during the, the lockdown and it seemed at the time appropriate for me to just sit down in my living room with an 11 by 14 sketchbook on the table and start with pencil copying, neatly copying an old black and white image and this then you know, involved in, in the series. The top of 2020 it involved over a of the time. It, the series were finished a couple of months ago already, and, uh, but I, I you know, never came around to, uh, to actually uh, showing it uh, until I had uh, all the utilities I needed to actually open the space up to the public. That means you know, water and, uh, and electricity. And so that took forever to, to accomplish, but, but it's here, it's finally here. The Top Hundred Archive and Studio is now a, a public space. This exhibition will continue to be up for a couple more months. Anyone can, can call me and, and make an appointment to, uh, to, to view this, this exhibit. So what you see here are the numbers 1 through 64. The Top Hundred is compiled from a list. It is a list of songs that I compiled over over a year and, and I use a, a, a ranking system and so and, and this then results in uh, you know, uh, the ranking of, of 100 songs in over the period of a year. And so number one here, over here starts over here and uh, it starts with number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and so forth and then at 64 is the last number on this wall here and then the wall behind me that I will pan to in a moment they have numbers uh, 65 through 100 on them um, there's a I put the banner on the floor just for that for the video here um, it is an, an old banner that I recycled uh, it says uh, Top 100 2020 on it but it used to be a banner of uh, the Top 100 2008. And um, this was not made by myself, but somebody, I believe it was Sarah Weinstock, I think, who did it, uh, created this banner for an exhibition in, in Ohio, the Top 100 2008. So for just for this purpose, I recycled it. Uh, I also painted on their rear with an arrow and that is to, uh, to, to direct the visitors to this building, which is a, a little bit hidden, it's kind of off the road, and so I placed the sign on the entrance uh, to, the, to the property to direct people uh, further into the greenery where this, this studio is, is situated. Um, so let me uh, pan, bring this a little closer. First wall, six 
16 marks on it. This is then the second wall. And the third wall. So during the opening reception, which was on the September 26, 2021, it started at noon and it went to, to 6 o'clock. So during this, this period, the top 100 was actually being played. Starting at number 100, it was a countdown. So starting in, you know, doing the reverse order. And in the background, you may hear the sounds of the top 100 being played. I just for the video, I started it kind of randomly, uh, somewhere in the middle. And, uh, and right now, uh, you hear. Um, Kulning, Swedish Kulning. Oh, actually, that's not true. Uh, we just heard that Swedish Kulning and some other works as well. This is uh, this is a work recorded by Zoltan Kahlo, and it is uh, of of the singer, uh, the, the Hungarian-Romanian singer Anna Balint. That's what we're here listening to right now, and it is. Uh, the work over here. So, let me, uh, I'll, I might as well give you a little close up. <coughs> the work in the center here is on a balint. So, the other side then, we pen there. This is the other wall at number 65 through 100 on there and uh, I'll, I'll zoom in here too. Not that far maybe. Yeah. Then on the bottom right before the window is number 100. Let me pan out uh, and show you the space. That's the window to the outside. A little table with some face masks for visitors on it. The entrance from the in scene from the inside. And then uh, back to the beginning here. The treasured air conditioner. And underneath the computer. We've already come to number 54 now, which is Gardu from Ethiopia. And here's the beginning again. Um, oops, sorry. Turn the air conditioner off because that makes a sound. It's the spiral staircase. To the upstairs, and the upstairs is still unfinished. I mean, it's partly usable, but that is uh, right above here is uh, where the, the archive will be housed. So this is the path towards it, as well as to the bathroom, sink, kitchenette. The door goes into my studio. I'll show you that too. I'll show you one more thing that is in here. There's these these two boxes and. Uh, Oops, there. Yeah. Uh, they are a part of the top 100 uh, 2019, the one before this one that I just uh, showed you around. Of. Um, two visitors, they requested to see, uh, uh, because they remembered the display of the top 100 2019. <clears throat> and this was at the Fort Myers Beach Library where those were displayed. They remembered these and, and asked to see some examples of the 2019. So I simply went up the spiral staircase, took down two boxes, and so they could browse to some works. And so I, I mentioned that this uh, this exhibit, uh, the, the 100 works, had been finished for quite a few months uh, already. And so in the meantime, and over the past like four months, uh, I've been working on the top 100 
2021 a brand new series that is again you know executed on with, with oils on on canvas and i couldn't resist but to uh, display uh, these these works in progress uh, so visitors could have a sneak preview uh, concerning to what is coming let me show you it is uh, so here's the the door to the studio let me open it and you can see what's behind it my studio. Rather unfinished still, but it's in, in progress too and gradually that will get finished. But behind this door on the wall, behind all the, the mess, the typical studio mess, uh, are uh, I believe there's 45 uh, paintings um, displayed that belong to the top 100 2021 in progress. And here is where I have been sitting lately to uh, work on this series. I'm just about to start I'm wanting to work on this uh, oil sketch that I've uh, just started, started yesterday. And, uh, and so it, uh, I, I put like a, you know an old sketch on, on it, and it has dried overnight. So I can easily you know, go back into it and, and put a, another layer of it. Um, so the, the uh, and the image, by the way, is uh, uh, is taken from from this CD, and this is the image, the portrait of uh, Hugo Zemp, who recorded the Don. This is a a, a a Don Hunter. Uh, a Hunter sings alone, says the caption under this picture. And this was recorded, and I assume also for the but I'm not sure, by, uh, by Hugo Zen. Here's the picture of Hugo Zen that I used. This is the first one of the, of the series where I actually started off with a black background. It's not, I, I'm not so sure if the camera picks it up, but there's actually four rectangles and they have different shades of black. And it, it's kind of an, an interesting uh, way of, of painting to work on, on black. It, it, it's kind of like the, you know, like black velvet paintings or something. It, it, it's, it has a different feel to it because you, you start with like uh, laying out the, the light swatches rather than the outline, so which is a, a, a different approach. And so I, I I'm kind of enjoying that, and so I'm thinking I'll, I'll experiment a little further with that. Uh, I had already made the the the, the preliminary um, design on the four rectangles like earlier. I uh, ever since um, in the you know ever since like the 30th or so painting from from this series, I uh, decided I would prime the canvases with four colored rectangles evenly divided into evenly dividing the canvas into four. This is also like four different tones of black. I don't know if the camera picks that up. And uh, this is kind of an you know silly this one. It's kind of an interesting you know primer too. It's just the the, the black and white. It was actually intended to do the the white stripes on this one since the you know, since the white stripe style, they have this kind of like a look to them. But uh, I decided uh, against it, and so I will, you know, use this soon for, for something else, I'm sure. So this one too. Uh, let me, uh, well, before I do that, um, one more thing. So, um, the, now let me pan back here, pan back to, to the wall okay, for a second before I actually start painting again. There. Um, so back out just a little bit, so some more. So here's a bunch of these uh, of these works centered on the wall, and you see, you know, with, with some of them uh, using that that design, uh, this one right in the center here. 
it shows it clearly the the color design the one next to it i just mentioned the white stripes i just finished that the other day um, th that these paintings are on a wall while the series of 100 is in is in progress it's kind of a, a, a new thing to, uh, for me i i you know never put the you know put the works up in the process of, of you know finishing this series and so as as a result i'm gonna sit back on my chair now as a result i get to look at these works and live with them for a while before they actually gonna go off into the world uh, this is actually uh, scheduled to appear in the exhibition top 100 2021 and uh, at the Dublin Arts Council in, in Columbus, Ohio. So I'm pretty excited about that. And, uh, and so uh, in, in the process that these things are all, like I, I see certain things of like paintings that I've you know considered like finished before. It's, it's really never finished until the works uh, go out as, as a set and, and be displayed. But, uh, but I, I, I you know, pick up on, on, on certain things. And, uh, and so then it, it then allows me every once in a while to pick one off the wall, set it on my easel and uh, work a little bit more on that. Um, one painting, for example, uh, that, I, that I worked on that has been done for a while already is, uh, let me go there, is uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, that one over there. Let me zoom in. That one. It is uh, Hugo Zemp with uh, a singer from the Solomon Islands uh, next to him. Uh, Hugo Zemp, the, the, well, let me first state that the, the concept of this series of 100, uh, obviously you can see that they're all double portraits. And the double portraits are, they display the, the person uh, performing and the person recording since many of these songs come from the world of anthropology or ethnomusicology rather the you know the the the, the one recording as as a you know, quite a quite a present and so i figured it'd be an interesting uh, juxtaposition to uh, to put the you know often like white middle-aged male on one side and the often indigenous uh, performer on on the other side so this was the case here it, it so happened that uh, the person who is who is responsible for uh, percentage wise for the most of the recordings uh, in 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 the top 120 21 is, is hugo zamp so this is again hugo zamp the same person as i'm uh, working on right now that one it's clearly unfinished this work and he's, he's a couple of more times right above it that's also Hugo Zemp uh, with yet another this is CC was he's named another singer right next to uh, Hugo Zemp playing the pond flute this is Hugo Zemp from the period uh, act that he actually was in the Solomon Islands here, obviously, he's, he's much older, but that's the same person. So he, he recurs like a number of times, and it's kind of tricky to find like appropriate images of, of Hugo Zamp. He was good with uh, photographing the, the people he recorded, so there's a, a kind of a treasure of, of images. But anyway, so um, I have available, and I'm keeping these around, <clears throat> these images so this is the image of, uh, of, I don't know if that frames are all right here the image of, of Hugo Zemp I'm working on right now and then this is uh, the image that I just showed you you know but anyway this this stack of, of papers here and I'm gonna go back to, to this So, sit down. Have a sip of coffee. In the meantime, <clears throat> so 
So I have here, you know, all these. Um, every single one, uh, except for a few, you know, like, like I, I showed you that uh, this one comes from a CD, and there's some other ones where I, you know, use directly uh, the CD or, or a book that comes, comes with uh, Yeah, so uh, that is, uh, that is that. I figure I show you the outside of the Top 100 Archive and Studio. Let me back up. Yeah, I had a tent set up outside. So for the opening, just because of COVID, I didn't want food and drinks inside the gallery and so I you know made a little comfy seating area with a cooler in here shed tool shed little pad which is also new and that's it 